Hello people, this is Irika and I just received my first model horse of 2022 and uh, I wanted this one to also be a special one and uh, so I ordered the Arabian horse by Mr. Z you will check him out also I want to thank the store Space Figuren from Germany for kindly sent me this envelope that contained some oh, a thank you note and uh, a few postcards from franchising and also some stickers I really loved it So here in these boxes, we have a separate one and uh, it contains stock. This model, yes, it included the tack, right? I will try to put it later in the horse. This is a mixture. I have a, a helper here. This is a mixture of uh, fake synthetic leather and uh, and also some parts of real leather. My cat is loving it. Let's go to the main thing. And the stairs can walk to the house. Let's open it. So here we can have a more clear view of this beautiful boy. And my helper comes in inspecting as well. And so this version has a wavy mine all over. I'm going to sit near so we can see more in detail. I was told some, at least some people that ordered the other colors that uh, sometimes the mine comes straight, but um, the tail is wavy or the other way around. This one at least seems to be wavy all over mine and also the tail. It's a, a very beautiful shade of chestnut, like a flaxen chestnut. I mean, the color because of the darker legs could be a bay <laughs> almost, but um, 
Now, I, at least I was expecting a reddish shade of chestnut, but I, I think uh, this one is a very beautiful shade too. This is the offside. It's a very beautiful head profile of an Arabian horse. The eyes are also beautifully painted. And, and this is the example why cats and model horses don't always mix. I will also make a comparison with the other um, Mr. Z horse that I own, the Turo Bread, so you can see the size and proportion differences between them. And so here are my two boys. Well, I was at least expecting uh, uh, the Arabian one at least to be a bit shorter than the two row bread. However, the two row bread has a longer body than the Arabian. The crop is a bit lower and and the back line too, although here in the, this bone area, they are almost like the, the same the same height. Now, also, this model has a wire here in, in the tail, and uh, you can so you can position it much like this one to get a, a swish effect. It can be up or down. Well, I hope you have liked a preview of this guy and uh, he is really beautiful, eyes very well painted, details very well made, he's a very lifelike model. And I strongly recommend to get it if uh, you are even considering acquiring. I will uh, try to put the um, tack that came with it on the model, so you, I want to, I will leave it loose, but just to give an impression of how it looks like with the tack. Okay, so I just put it over the model. I didn't tie it though, but you can have um, an impression of uh, how it sits on the horse and uh, on the details as well. I think I will honestly um, keep it on the shelf without the tuck. The saddle is a bit... Uh, But if you want to pose it with a doll or a rider, I think it, uh, it will be it will be still a, a nice visual compliment. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this preview and see you next time. Bye.